in the digitizing toolbox, you can digitize one buttonhole or several buttonholes. You can create the buttonhole and then edit it, or you can set up the type of buttonhole you want to create prior to digitizing the buttonhole. We're going to do that. So to set up the buttonhole properties, open Object Properties and select the Buttonhole tab. There are nine types of buttonholes available. If you rest your cursor on a buttonhole, it's going to tell you what type it is. We're going to choose the round end buttonhole. And there are some new properties that appear with certain types of buttonholes. The slit length is the length of the buttonhole. I'm going to change it to one. Now notice when my cursor is inside the value box, there's a blue double pointed arrow in the sketch that shows you what will be influenced by that particular value. If you're working on heavier or lighter weight fabric than normal, or embroidering with heavier or lighter weight thread than 40 weight, you may want to change the bead stitch spacing. And again, the diagram shows you what you'll be changing when you change that value. This in effect is the density of the buttonhole. If you want the end spacing to be the same as the bead stitch spacing, you can check keep bead and end spacing the same. You can also set the angle of a buttonhole to be vertical or horizontal, or you can set it at any angle that you want. Once you get your properties set up, click OK and choose the buttonhole icon in the digitized toolbox. Then just click on screen to activate that buttonhole. And you can add more if you wish, or you can press escape to deactivate the buttonhole.